very spooky. Okay, so um, I'm standing in a spot that I spotted in the last video where there looks like there's three terrain puzzles all together here standing on this particular spot. Let's take a look. Alright, so we're close on this one. How about this guy? Oh yeah. Got one here. One thing I'm curious about is what exactly is the significance of the colors of these terrain puzzles? Is there a significance? Boy, that glyph over there is getting some work between this episode and the last one. Alright, so let's see if we can get this one. Yes, we can. Alright, we need a good spot that we can get a clean circle here. Seems like I need to be a little bit further down, maybe. No. This is acting almost like it's too close, but... Hmm. So I'm, I'm warm. This one's really close. That's too close. So this looks like it is an incomplete circle, so you definitely have to have this thing. I just need to get positioned so I can see. Hmm. I, fe I feel like if I move further down at all, it's going to uh, it's going to put this beam in the way. So if I'm right on the edge of that, man, that's close. It's really close. There we go. Just needed to line up that bottom section to complete the circle. Okay, wow. We just got three right in a row there. Okay. The ship has definitely paid off for terrain puzzles. Okay, so this looks like this could be another one here. Definitely got that that kind of line that I'm looking for. But it could be that this is part of the one that's underneath. As you pass through underneath the ship when you're in the small little boat. Could be what that's about. Yeah, because that definitely looks like the end of a point right here. So where's the beginning is the question. Uh, it looks like it moves Yeah, through that line there. Not sure if I can hit it at this angle. Or from this, this point of view. I may, I may have to be underneath for that particular one. You know, something else strange is that perhaps, you know, this line might continue. Yeah, look at this. So, this particular crack actually does connect all the way around here. Which is not making me feel very secure about the structural integrity if just this little beam is the only thing I'm walking on right now. <laughs> Um, but perhaps this uh, almost like circle is another thing that can only be seen from underneath. We know that there's at least two, possibly three or four now, puzz terrain puzzles that can be gotten from taking the boat around the edge or underneath. Because it looks like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the path that the boat takes underneath. So you will pass underneath this stuff. Just don't want to make make the mistake of missing one that I could have gotten up here. We probably won't know for sure until we take that that boat underneath. But for now, I think we're going to go ahead and go backtrack. I mean that that boat was quite the adventure, but I think we are going to backtrack. That's going to be my my line for uh, when I do the big one that goes on the outside of the boat. Just want to see if I can click it from here at all. No. 
Okay, so I also noticed that there was this here. Uh, and I think you have to actually be like almost on the couch to click it. Let's see, I need to try to line up. There, there's where I'm looking, I need that circle. And wouldn't you know it, this couch is like kind of in the way here. Yeah, it's definitely one. It's it's giving me the the signal. Do I need to be up on the balcony there? Maybe. Let's take a look. Let's head up. Try to see if we can match. We can get a. Boy, I'm going to be too far away. I think. Yeah. The trees kind of block my view here because this would be the other possibility right here. But, hmm, no, not quite. Uh, this is a tantalizing one, because <laughs> it's like this couch is just barely, just barely obscuring my view to the point. <laughs> I'm right on the edge of it. Again, this could be um, very similar to the the Apple mechanic <coughs> way back when we were doing the, the orchard puzzles. The apple was taken away from the puzzle, almost as if to say, the creator's in control here. I'm just going to step in and mess with your head a little bit. Oh man, we're so close here. We're not entirely sure how to solve these particular puzzles yet. So the second half of this fortress is really an area that is maybe a, a culmination of knowledge. Uh, and then you, you apply what you've learned from other parts of the islands here to get that second set of puzzles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just reset this to as I head out. We were able to do this one in this really creepy King's Court area where there's definitely people being abused and um, at kind of the mercy of that king. But you know what? I think we're actually done with the fortress for now. We will have to come back for sure. But I think for now we're going to go ahead and move on. Now something I would like to do today is I would like to go back to the boat, do a little bit of backtracking and collect some of those terrain puzzles. Uh, I think before I do that though, I am actually going to come into this new area here because I want to find this glyph that I've sent a lot of solutions to, terrain puzzle solutions. There it is, I see it in the distance. I'm not going to rush this part because this is a new area and I really just want to take in this beautiful environment. Man. Ooh, treehouse stuff. I love treehouses. Again, very missed. Very much a, not to mist. I mean, this whole game is really, but treehouse. Cities. Okay, so this was from the fortress. This one. Hmm. That's a real windy thing. Don't don't totally recognize that. Oh, look at this. Holy hell. Man, okay, so this this is clearly pointing at the the fortress. So there's there's terrain puzzles all over that thing. I'm guessing this has something to do with once you're on top of the tower, you can look down into the um, this was the head hedge maze, looking down into the hedge maze. So I think this is down, looking down into the second half, the the glass panes and walking over. There must be, yeah, like giant circles with exits. Must be a, a big series of terrain puzzles there. Oh, so do I, are these? No, no, I don't think those are solved yet. 
this is an odd one with a break. I haven't seen that. That that may be tricky to spot. You know, unless this has something to do with the couch thing. I mean that <laughs> this looks like the break, right? I mean this looks like the the place that I was trying to get earlier with the couch. And then it's asking for a break after that. That's really strange. I feel like this may be the one that goes all the way around. Yeah, that's got to be the outer, the huge, huge one. This one might be the one that's underneath. And wow, yeah, look at these. So these were the ones that were on top of the ship. Looks like I did, in fact, miss one, unless this is possible. Yeah, you know, look what this looks like. This sure as hell looks like the big circle maybe you do get it from underneath though I mean that's what that's what that definitely looks like um, these are from the treehouse area okay all right so I feel like these three are on the boat perhaps this one this one may be the couch one feels like this is the couch one these two are going to be probably be on the boat this one on the outside this one on the inside possibly this one underneath could be i do want to go around and get those glyphs i think that's what i'm going to do okay so uh before i head all the way back around remember when i was up on that tower a few weeks ago looking down at this and i was trying to line up something for a possible terrain puzzle oh man this game is awesome look at this as I was walking by are you kidding me <laughs> oh crap this game is so cool. unbelievable unbelievable I, I I can safely say I've never seen anything this cool in a game. I mean, the flowers. I, I mean, I was when I was a kid, those those eye puzzles that were just like it looked like random patterns if you just like looked at it for the first time, but if you set your eyes a certain way, you adjusted the depth of your vision a certain way, like an image would pop out, a three-dimensional image would pop out. I don't know if any of you have seen that as when you were kids, but I, I was fascinated by those. Like I had a whole book of them. They were really cool to me. I mean, this is almost like putting that concept into a game, a video game. I mean, look at that. Look at how perfectly that, that those flowers line up in just that particular spot in just this particular way and you I mean I noticed it I noticed it from up there that there was a, a cluster of flowers that were slightly thicker than the rest but to have that line up like that oh man I can't even begin to tell you how cool that is if you haven't bought in this game already please do yourself a favor Okay, so now now I feel like there's got to be more, right? There's got to be more of those in this field. Like, <laughs> I'm looking for it now. I'm looking for places that these flowers line up. Oh, yeah, look, look at that little tail right there. This has got to be another one. It's got to be. I just need to be standing in the right spot. Ooh. Yep, there it is. Oh man, no way, Jesus, yeah, it's going to this cliff here, I mean, the, per the idea of the perspectives in this game, oh man, I'm gushing, but you have to gush over this, brilliant design. How many are in the, how many more are in this field? I wonder. I'll have to go check that glyph over there probably to get a, a a good hint of how many are left. Cause they're I mean they're really cleverly hidden. You'd have no idea. No idea. J 
just the idea it's the tail of this one just the idea that these these puzzles these puzzles are hidden all around this world and you know the magic of discovering it the first time I mean you can't get past that the first time I saw the reflection of one of those in the water out there was just kind of like a magic game moment like I someday I want to go like make a video about like all like the magic game moments that you've had and you know you remember a few of them like uh, oh yeah okay so this I, this is one thing I wanted to look at is this image of this this girl sitting yeah look I mean it's really plainly clear it wasn't as clear up there but you had the idea that it was there but yeah from here look at this shadow of like a woman sitting in the silhouette just resting and then you turn around and and it's it's an image of destruction you know and, and ruin and decay and this is like the dreamer and the you know potential and the future such a, a contrast there but I mean again game magic but you know you remember some of these just like magic moments in games and uh, you know a lot of them come from like Ocarina of Time and some of the cool mechanics when you realize like you could manipulate certain things in that world the boat I need to head down here you could ma manipulate certain things in that world uh, Majora's Mask I think was another one if you haven't played Majora's Mask, it's a brilliant time travel game. Especially for its time. I mean, time travel's been done since then. Not as well. Sometimes it's been... You could arguably say it's been done better. But the idea of resetting the day and being able to learn from your mistakes and manipulate fate was just... I mean, you had like some magic moments in that game. All right, let's see if we can call the boat from here. I'm assuming you can, or just a, a magic one appears. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so it does have to almost like make the journey, I think. Yeah. A delay, but it shows up when you call it. But just like those magic moments in games, I remember the first time playing World of Warcraft, and you do the warrior charge ability. Like, you had to have, like, a smile on your face because something like that hadn't really been done in a game before, but, like, it perfectly fit. Like, it was just, like, magic how well it worked. And it was actually a little buggy to begin with, but, like, the first time you did it, like, in the middle of a field and you charged towards a monster, like, that was a magic game moment. Like, okay, so this is a different kind of game. This is on a different level from anything we've seen before. Okay, so, getting quiet here because I do have to... This is going to be a really tricky puzzle. Because this one is going to go, like, all the way around this boat. So I need to try... to manipulate this as I go all the way around it. And you know what, from this side I'm This is the first one that I know exists. So. Come on. Connect. There we go. We're close. We're close. Connect. Ooh. Made it. Okay, gotta get up here quick. Can we go across? Yes. Wow. You gotta be kind of fast with this. Definitely got to be under toes. All right, what angle am I looking at here? It's gonna be a tricky one. I gotta get up to this one fast. Okay. No. All right, now from here, where am I looking? Ah, there, got it. Really got to be quick with this. Okay, so this one's gonna go up, I think. Yeah. There it is. See my next connector. Oh, 
Okay, I'm on the back side. I think I'm at least halfway there, probably a little further. Alright, now it's gonna slope back down the side of the boat. We can go around this thing. And from here. Well, I hope I picked the right connector here. I think I did. Alright, so I see my end point. But I gotta get there. Okay, I think I see my connector. Gotta be quick though. Yeah, I got in. Got it. Okay. Now, I think I actually want to turn around. So... Yeah, let's turn around here. Because now I want to go underneath the boat. Actually, why don't I just go this way? I'll go underneath the boat right here. Right? Yeah. I probably, you know, I probably should have just slowed down like one tick, so I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't going around like a crazy man. I definitely am going to slow this down. Now we gotta pay attention because I think at least one of these is gonna be above us. You, know, you see, see these lines here? I think some of these are gonna be what we're looking for. Or there may there may even be stuff beneath us. We gotta watch out for. Oh. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be the circle one. So sure enough, yeah, you did need to be underneath. Come on. Got to manipulate it around here. Got it. Whew, that was close. Okay, is there another one here? Yeah. I think this is going to be one. But where do I need to start? Don't see my circles. Don't see the circle I need. Ah. Uh. Oh, there's a circle. There's a circle. But... Okay, hold on. Turn me around. Okay, let's go... We're going back through. I need to try to find the place that this circle is activatable. I'm really surprised that you can't click it from here. I mean, that looks like it should be clickable. That's a pretty solid circle. All right, let's slow it down. Let's slow way down. That's a. Oh man, there's there's lines everywhere here. I I I'm looking for circles though, but the circles have kind of like line up at just the right points. Get the heck. Okay. Alright, so if this was... This is the one that I did. So that one, that one I have done. So I'm gonna make sure there's none down here. Reflections in the water too. Hmm. I definitely feel like I'm missing one. This one I have. Slow it down. Slow it down. It feels like there's one right here. Okay, so here's here's my start point.
definitely wants me to go down. It's gotta be down. Try, try, try. Okay. We're moving. Okay, I made it. Wow. Alright, I made it into the light. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, look at this. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there there was my movement. Yeah, okay, that was it. Cool. You know what? I think I actually am gonna go to I think I actually am gonna move on. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on here. I'll speed it up. I'm going to head to this new area from this side. Okay, let's find a way to keep our stars together. Whoa! Oh, look at this!